Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to share 5 cards using the pattern papers from the April Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. I do have a giveaway on my blog for this card kit, you will find the link down below, make sure to enter. Now let's take a look on what's included. First of all, you will get this set of 4 ink cubes, the set is called Island Crass and it comes with these 4 lovely colors. You will also get a jar of uh, white embossing powder, this is by Simon Says Tam and it is a fine embossing powder, perfect to use with even the more intricate designs. You will also get these four designs, this is watercolor paper, you can use your watercolors to color it in and you can then stick it on top of a pre-folded card and you have a card ready to go. The kit is called Follow the Rainbows, so you will see that both the designs as well as the stamp and the pattern paper has something to do with rainbows. Now you will also get a big stencil, this is a 6x6 stencil with clouds. You will get three clouds on the inside of the stencil, but also get that detail on the outside for that technique that you can do with your blending tools to create a lovely sky. You will also get two envelopes in white and blue. And here is the stamp set for this month. It features this lovely lady with the umbrella and tons of sentiments that go with it. The stamp set is called Follow the Rainbows and it is a 4x6 clear stamp set. There are many examples and ideas on how to use this stamp set already online. So today I'm going to work with these pattern papers and show you different ideas on how you can work with them. Now this is a kind of glossy a satin finish and it is uh, quite thick. They are all double sided and they feature lovely rainbow designs. Some of the designs are really abstract, there are others with clean lines and on some of them you get the pack where uh, there are, it is full of hearts in all the colors of the rainbow. So you can see the back sides here and the back sides of the rest of the papers. Lovely pattern papers but they are quite busy so I will show you 5 ways on how you can work with busy backgrounds. And finally, let's take a look at the cardstock that you get in this kit. Five pages, two of them are white and other coordinating colors. And let's start with the first card and uh, for my first technique on how you can work with busy backgrounds, I'm going to add white cutouts on top of them. So for this video, I will not use exclusively products from the card kit. I'm just using the pattern paper that was included and I will use other supplies from my stash to work with the busy pattern papers. So I cut out this beautiful pattern paper to be slightly smaller than my standard card and then I use this die by Simon Says Stamp to cut out three identical flowers. Now this technique works with any silhouette die that you have on your stash. In this case I'm using flowers. I am not adding any color at all on the die cuts. You see they are simply white. And I'm just placing them on top, trying to decide where they are going to stay. The white flowers stand out against the busy background, although there is so much color back there. So a solid image that you die cut is going to stand out nicely on top of a very busy background. Now this would work with black flowers as well, and they would even look as if they are at the sunset. I'm gluing everything down completely flat with my Nouveau Deluxe glue and then uh, you can see on my right there I do have the centers. For those I'm going to add tiny little uh, foam squares and uh, pop them on my card just for some dimension. The flower die that I used here is called Cosmos Stem. It has a lovely detail but again any silhouette die that you have would work for this technique. To complete my card I need to add a sentiment, for that I'm stamping one from the stamp set that is included in the kit and it says you are my rainbow every single day. I'm stamping that with black ink, I die cut it with uh, a banner die and then I used some foam tape at the back. And here are some close up photos on the first card for today. For the second technique on how to use busy pattern papers, just use them as backgrounds for shaker cards. So here is an example, I'm going to use this super gorgeous pattern paper and I'm going to cut it down to be 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. So this is going to cover up completely a standard card size. 
On top I used white cardstock and cut out the large outline things. I am going to add some glue at the back and then apply on top my uh, acetate. Now this is actually acetate from a packaging so I always like to keep pieces like that and I can recycle them. I'm also going to add a dot of glue at the center of the letter A and then I'm going to add that tiny little die cut piece so this is uh, <laughs> more readable let's say and uh, now at the back I did add some foam tip all around and now I'm just going to peel it off and I'm going to add some confetti on top of my panel. Now for the confetti I'm using Studio Katia and these are chunky confetti glitter. I love it because it is super thin so it doesn't uh, clog inside the shaker element and at the same time they are shiny but they don't add too much color since I already have a lot of color on my background. And here's the panel ready to go. All I need to do is to just stick it on top of a pre-folded card that's for a quarter by five and a half. And you can see here some close-up photos. For the third technique on how to use busy pattern papers, I will do some inlay die cutting using different areas of the same pattern paper. So here I picked this gorgeous pattern paper and I'm going to combine it with a carnation frame. I cut it out from white cardstock and you can see how lovely it looks on top of this paper. So I'm going to use some uh, glue at the back and stick it directly on top of the pattern paper and I will stay on the area that has uh, mainly blues and greens as a background. So again, just like I did with the first card, this is a white die cut on top of a busy background. I'm going to grab my big scissors and cut all around it and I have a lovely frame that I can use, but I'm going to take it a step further. I will bring the die one more time and this time I'm going to cut out the flower, mainly staying on the yellows, the pinks and the oranges. So I'm going to lay it on top there and then all those tiny little pieces that I cut out, I place them inside the flower. Now I somehow lost the footage but here is a close up look of exactly what I did. Just glue down all the little pieces one by one inside the flower. Now you can see that everything matches perfectly because I keep using the same pattern paper and the same colors on the background but the flower really stands out. I used foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base at the center and on the stamp set from the kit there is a tiny little sentiment that says I miss you and that is going to complete my card. I love the clean and simple look but how gorgeous that focal point is. For technique number four, use any dies that you have and the gorgeous busy pattern papers and cut out your elements out of them. That's exactly what I did with this beautiful pattern paper here and the butterflies. I'm sure you all have some butterflies on your stars that you can cut out. So I'm going to pick different areas from this pattern paper making sure that I will get at least two or three colors on the butterflies as I place them down. I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine and I have four different butterflies here. I will end up using, however, only three of them. So I place the white uh, panel on top of uh, one of the pattern papers that I used as a background so you can see some rainbow colors peeking on the frame. And then I also stamped uh, the sentiment that says follow the rainbows. I'm sticking down my butterflies and adding foam squares at the back, taking my time here and I'm only going with three butterflies after all since I decided that three is always a better number for focal points than four. Now I do have some bodies for my butterflies so I'm adding at the center some Nouveau Deluxe glue and then I'm going to stick the bodies on top. To finish them off. Of course you can add some uh, glitter and shine on top of them or little gems all over the place. I'm going to leave it as it is as I think it looks really beautiful. And let's move on to the fifth and last technique for today. So a great way to work on uh, busy pattern papers is to just stick on top a big 
sentiment. So if you have big dies that um, cut out sentiments like the one that I'm having here, and this is called um, The World Needs, it's by Simon Says Stamp, or if you have big stamps with sentiments that you can emboss them or stamp them directly on top, it's a great way to use those um, busy pattern papers. Now this is going to be a very clean and simple design. All I'm going to do is to add a few gems here and there. At the top I added uh, purple gems and at the bottom I added yellow ones to match the colors from the back. And here are the photos of all the five cards that I made for today while sharing some ideas on how you can use busy pattern papers. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired don't forget to visit my blog, there is a giveaway for the Simon Says Stamp April Card Kit. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, stay safe!